It's showtime with Granddaddy Minx. Granddaddy Minx is here in the house. Whose house? My house. Welcome. All right, today we're gonna have burgers. And I got a wide variety of burgers here to show you, okay? A real wide variety. So I got this burger, that burger, and that burger. Kosher burger. I got my lean meat. I got my roast beef meat. I got my chuck meat. That's about three, four pounds, two pounds, two pounds, three pounds. So what is that? Help me out, add that up. Close to 10 pounds of uh, ground beef. We're gonna mix this all together. If all the burgers don't get eaten, well, I'm gonna we'll make them in the sandwiches for work. For that special someone in your life, you can make them some hamburgers and you can freeze them then and then it's on the go. Just throw a pop it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and then that's it. Any leftovers, freeze your burger leftovers, chop them up in the chilies, chop them up in the tacos, chop them up into your favorite thing where you want your ground beef. That'll make one burger for me. <laughs> but I'm gonna share with everybody else because that's important. Sharing is caring. So we're gonna make many burgers out of this. How many burgers am I gonna make out of this? And no, I'm not gonna make all six ounce burgers out of 10 pounds of burgers. Now, I know some are gonna be small, some are gonna be big. So you write down on a piece of paper or text yourself, make a note, how many burgers am I gonna make? Put down in the comments, oh my gosh, I was right. I guessed exactly how many burgers this guy actually made, Granddaddy Manx. Okay, we're having fun. That's why we're doing it this way, because we wanna have fun. Now our seasonings. I got my beef bouillon. One teaspoon, two teaspoons, three teaspoons. Oh my God, salt. Mmm, not enough. Salt, 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 salt. A dash of the smoky rub. Black pepper. Don't sneeze, don't sneeze. And that was a teaspoon. Almost three quarters of a teaspoon, a little bit too much for my liking. Garlic salt. Paprika, very mild on the paprika. Okay, guys, not going mild. Mild, ooh, that was quarter teaspoon. Granulated onions, mm-hmm. That was a dusting, like it just snowed. MSG, that was just a flake. It's not gonna harm anybody. Uh, Murphy's IPA beer rub. It smells like dino mine. That's for you, JJ. That's JJ saying, "These gonna be like Dino Mine." That's how that. That's how JJ from Good Times would say that. JJ was a, a TV show from the '70s. Oh, beef gravy. About a quarter of that butter. Mmm. That was like five tablespoons. Minced the garlic. That's a tablespoon, and that is it. Mmm, that smells good already. Can you smell it? looks like an egg in the middle, doesn't it? Like, like a volcano, it's kind of like artistic. We're going to mix this up. Wash your hands again. <laughs> Here's Pam. She's gonna grease the pans a little bit. I'm gonna pre-mix these burgers, and just kind of set them out. Meet Pam. Best thing to do is to use your hands. Mix it up good. Get into there. Because you're going to be using your hands to make those patties anyways. Ah! Get back in there. Nobody saw that, right? Let's make some patties out of that. Before I do that, I'm going to clean these seasonings up. They're going to go bye-bye. The uh, roast a beast. Our apple cider vinegar. Just a small... Yo, 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 yo. A little cap full. That's probably close to a tablespoon, but need a teaspoon, just a dip. Mmm, smells so good. A red wine. Yeah. I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, 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 oh. Bacon's done. I 
save my drippings. He's going to do it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good flavor. They're going to love it. The madness doesn't stop. Ginger beer. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Haven't done this yet. Oh, that's really clear and bubbly. Mmm. I like ginger beer. Okay, ginger beer, it's all going in there. No, he's not doing that. You know what? The rest is for me. Bay leaves. In the comments below, please tell me why we use bay leaves. No, I don't know. I just, everybody's always used bay leaves in my past. They always use bay leaves. And they just use a few. And they smell so good. They smell like great food. Why do they smell like great food, bay leaves? I don't know. Beef or gravy. Right in there. Oh, you know what? We gotta rinse that out. Mm, yeah, we'll do it. And some water. And what are we gonna do? Shake it up. Shake it up. Oh, oh, oh. Shake it up, baby. All right. Uh-huh, rinse that jar out. For those other ingredients. Got it? You see? Oh, oh, juicy, juicy, good stuff. Now let's pre-cook our burgers and make our burgers. Let's wash our hands again and again and again. We're gonna make our burgers right here in our bacon pan. Nothing's going to waste. Look at that. We're gonna use the same paper. We're gonna have the flavor from the bacon. We're gonna make some patties now. A wide variety of patties. Some people say, I'm not eating a burger. I'm just gonna have a little tiny one. And then there's ones that are like, I'm having a burger. I'm a big burger. We're gonna pre-cook these burgers on that tray. When we throw them on the grill, they won't fall apart. You don't have to throw them on the grill either. You just right there in the oven, make a perfect burger, don't fall apart. And actually firm right there and stay all together. And we're gonna slowly cook our burger right around, I think 200 degrees, 250. We don't wanna cook it too fast either. Too fast to fully cook it. I almost want to like undercook it so you can still, yeah, so you can still have it cooked on the grill. It'll be right close to uh, medium when it comes out of the oven, and then on the grill just for a hot minute or two on either side to get it a little flame broiled, crispy. Uh, my favorite burger is mushroom burger with some little bit of grilled mushrooms with either provolone or pepper jack. Who's going to be right about how many patties we got? Looks like we got our count. Are you, are you, everybody watching, thank you. This makes it fun cooking in the kitchen. I don't feel like I'm alone. I'm not all by myself. I'm having a good time with you guys. Okay, counting of the burgers. Uh-huh. One, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen burgers. But we're not done yet. Hold on, there's more. Oh my gosh, I lost count. Was it sixteen? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three burgers. Who got 23 burgers? Put it in the comments. Let everybody know you were right with 23. Now be honest now, no cheating allowed. Please like, love, and share if you're enjoying the moment. All right, going in the oven. Wow. Broiler pan, why not? We're not broiling it, but we're gonna put it in the oven anyways. B B B B B B 
that means things are happening in the oven and they are done. Let's check that out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Check out the oven. Yeah, this is a drone. Yeah. And I'm in it. Okay. Oh, we got our bacon's getting crispy. We got our burgers. The medium rack is done. The bottom one is not done. We got to keep cooking that. Uh, so far, it's been in for a half hour at 350 degrees on those burgers, okay? So, and then they'll go to the grill. Uh, we're going to cook the bottom ones. To, no, you know, I'm going to take them all out. Yeah, I'm gonna take them all out. Let's do that. Oh, da, 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 that's gonna be hot. Oh yeah, see all these drippings? Ah, my gosh, we almost made a big mess. Okay, that is gonna go right in. I hope you've seen this. You can, look, 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 where the heck is my tray? Are you guys getting that? Oh, look at that. Right into the beef roast. That's how you make an excellent beef roast. Heck yeah. Most important, bath water for veggies. We got our vinegar. Keep our potatoes from not turning white. We got our waste buckets. Got this onion here. Got a bad side. Woo! Happy onion. So I got my bad onions. I got my good onions. I got my potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this apple vinegar water in there to keep the potatoes from not turning dark all over. Some people use salt, sometimes I use salt. Most time I use the vinegar water. Give those onions a bath, because I know they need it. Right into the pot. Hey, check this out. Now, potato, look at that black spot. That is not just a black spot, that is like a black hole. Uh -oh, we gonna cut that right out out. Uh-uh, we're not throwing away a potato, but we're gonna cut that out. Yeah, uh, what's up, Doc? Huh? Thanks for watching Granddaddy Minx. <laughs> the show's not over yet. Uh, okay, Doc? <laughs> Which cartoon character did that? That's right. Bugs Bunny. Almost done. The celery right on top. Wash it though, gotta wash the celery. There's dirt in there. This is all for our mulch pile. Bunny rabbits, any critters that you have in the yard that you feed, give it to them. It's ready to go in the oven. Take a close look at this bad, bad, bad roast. Oh yeah, oh, there's a good stuff in here. Mm -hmm. They gonna smell great when it's cooking. Mm -hmm. And warm your home up. Mm -hmm -hmm. And that's a lot of food. That should feed six to eight uh, or four, and you got leftovers. Okay. Got the lid on there. It's at 350 degrees. Probably gonna go in there for about three, four hours. <clears throat> 300 degrees, 90 minutes, and then we're gonna bump it up to 350 degrees for another 90 minutes. And check it, and we'll check it together. So we got our tray of burgers here. They're not ready for the grill yet, no. Our pre-cooked burgers are now gonna go into the freezer. Yep, they're gonna get in the freezer and they're gonna get a little hard and they should stay in the freezer for about two hours and they'll get firm and hard and then right onto the grill when you're ready, okay? And then the magic will happen, the magic will happen and every burger should come out perfect. 
a U and an I. We both look like we are the top chefs around in the world, even though I'm just a cook. I'm just a cook. I'm just a cook, okay? I'm here to make you happy. It's pineapple time. Who likes pineapple? I want to hear you. Who likes pineapple? I can grow pineapple in the state of Florida. It is the sweetest, the juiciest tomato. 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 Are you arguing with me? Pineapple. Quit messing with me. I know, that's a little silly. <laughs> Anyways, don't listen to him, okay? Pineapple. I'm gonna cut the top off and then plant it in the ground and sometimes you can put this little gooey stuff on it that helps take roots to it and in the ground, I'll get you that name later. I can't, I can't remember it off the hand. I gotta get it off of the bottle. But it helps uh, grow the roots. And then within a bit, about a year to two years, it'll take a root to the ground around it, uh, these parts. There's a longitude, longitude line for the lines of what you can grow, or where you can grow, wherever you're at. And then we gotta go picking for them, but they're not gonna probably be ready to pick until September, September, October, yeah, right around there. But hey, enough talking. Let's get a slice in, right? How do you do this nice juicy uh, pineapple right here? It's 99 cents, a dollar for the whole thing here. That's American dollar. Okay, I'm gonna cut the top off. You wanna go where you don't see these little indentations anymore. Hello? Who is that? Indy Mick. I got some flowers for yep. both you and the mom, but they're like in a big, big bouquet and I'm gonna help. So you're gonna get a vase to take home too. Could you help me arrange them a well, little bit later? Sure. I could give you these, put these in there, and then we could, whatever we split, I can put back in this vase and take it home. No, oh yeah. This is my vase anyways. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. a good thing. And by the way, we're on the air. Yes. <laughs> I have an eye to know where the camera is. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced you. This is Mindy Minx. Nice to meet you. My, my daughter here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cheers. We've been in the kitchen all day together. I'm glad you showed up. I'm here. That's good. Two o'clock on the dot. What, do we, what does daddy do with these peels? Put them in the compost pile. Or do you? are you planting them all? I know you plant the stems. Plant this. Did you oh, for yours? the meat, the meat, the meat, the roast. You're gonna put it on the roast. Uh huh. Roast, ribs, and what? And I freeze it in a bag. I have two planted in my yard. One in the front garden, one in the back. I'm still waiting. Along the side of the house is the best place where all that sun is at. Yeah. Grow it there. Well, it's in two sunny spots, so that's good. So, how long does it take to grow into a beautiful butterfly? A year. A to year two. to two? Uh huh. Oh my! Just we have watch to be it grow. Patient. Watch it grow. I like to watch things grow, so. Uh -huh. Thank All you right. for the flowers. Huggy, 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 huggy. I like your shirt. Oh, <laughs> the bob. There's an extra two inches of you look good. stuff over You're here. Your hair's blonde. Oh, yeah, it's lighter. Ah, I like yeah. that. I like Thanks. it. You're illuminated. Oh, my. You ready? You ready? You ready? Yep. You ready? You ready? A roast. A roast. It's been in the there. roast beast. Then we'll feast, then we'll feast, then we'll feast. Oh my, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, definitely not done. Okay, it's on the bottom. Well, you know, three but she's hours, working. Three hours. She's, she's a working. She's a good. Some meats under there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Meats oh, on the yeah. bottom. I like it. Looks Lots good. of good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Like 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 Mindy Mink. Good stuff. Where's good Larry stuff. Link? Larry Link's already out here. Can come say hi to me? Oh, Hey! How is you? We're on the air. We're on the air. Yeah, I see your shirt. Come yes. On. Where are we? Where's the people? Hi. There they are. Hello, people. Hi. Oh, beautiful flowers. Thanks. Peeking around the corner. Hello. Come on. Yeah. Come on in. This, this is your house. You're the king of the house. <laughs> there he is. Coffee. Coffee. Everybody wants to see Grandpa. Yeah. Coffee. <laughs> we want to copy. Oh, hello! We appreciate you watching. 
like, love, share, and submit. No, subscribe. You know, eat the core. No, eat the core. The core is in the middle. That's the core. Hard, very hard. No ET. And then we have our Hagrid toothpicks. Check out the size of these things. Oh my god, can you see how big that is? It's bigger than my head. Oh voila. Ready to serve. First time I tried these guys out of Texas. The best made hamburger slices and since 1926. Um, family owned, family operated. Texas. In Texas, everything is bigger and better. That's what the Texans say. Burgers! Everybody loves burgers. I smell celery and I smell onions. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Now that's been in there for 90 minutes. We're going to go up to 350 for another 90 minutes. It's time to bring this out of the oven. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely time. Voila! Oh. Tell if this sucker is done, the potato will be soft. Oh yeah, that potato is very soft. Look at all the juice. Look at all that broth. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I got zucchini. It doesn't have to cook long. I got all these veggies. I'm gonna put them on top too. I'm gonna put this back in the oven. I have those veggies. I wanna use them. Plenty of leftovers to go throughout the family through the week. Whatever's left over after two days, in the freezer it goes. And those veggies are still gonna be crunchy, I hope. Let's give it a couple more minutes. About 20 to be exact. All right, so these are all of Dad's kale plants, and I'm going to trim a few leaves. We work from the bottom, work our way up. I've just finished mine. They last in the fridge for about two weeks. So I'm ready to pick some. So I'm trying to figure out which plant I'm going to pick from, and I think I'm going to do this one because that's the one I picked from last time. So we, we got to chop, chop, chop. From the bottom up. Right, Dad? Oh, there's bugs. That's organic. <laughs> There's like these little flying things, so you have to make sure you wash it. They're like little white bugs. Aethids. What are those, Dad? It's okay. I know, but I don't like them. That means it's organic. I know, but like, they need to get out of my gale. I'm not trying to share with them. No. No. Oh. They won't like going in your refrigerator. Just wash them off before you put them in the fridge. Yeah, I do. See, these leaves are strong. You can beat them and the, the bugs fly off. Know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you're about oh, cheese. Just throw the scissors down. Well, uh, <laughs> have you ever seen anybody pick kale like this? No. <laughs> I don't know. Let's ask the comments below. Don't come in my bag. You want to take them home with you? Please. Bugs? Hex no. Look at them all. Don't they have another plant to pick from? No yeah, like grass. Oh, I heard cinnamon. Get Fresh leaves. Yum. 
got some bug holes, this one does. You have to trim around the bug holes. You know okay. it's organic if it's got a bug hole on it. That's right, no chemicals, and we don't like chemicals on our food. Best kale. Oh, that one's got a lot of white bugs. And wash them off. <laughs> I can only imagine what this is going to look like on the camera. I probably look like a goofy person out here slapping my kale around. Thanks for the kale, Dad. You're welcome. Hey, you know how to grow avocados? An avocado tree. Yeah. Takes years, decades. Oh, shoot. Okay. We gotta be further south. I'm well, not going further no, south. No, don't take me further south. No, that. no, 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 no. This is excellent. Thank you. We should take them to the kumquat tree. Oh, yeah, those are coming soon. Kumquats. Oh, they're like these amazing, the, it's like a combination between, what would you say, a nectarine and a... A little bit of bitter, but a lot of sweetness the older they get. The yellower they are, the, that's how you know that they're ripe. So what I do is I just kind of like rub it and you get that peach fuzz off of it, like a peach. And then I'm weird and I just take this part off and get this butt Belly out. Belly button fuzz. Yeah. And then that's pretty much okay. And then you eat it. Don't chew hard. Because there's a big seed in the middle. There's a big seed in the middle. Which I'll show you guys. That mm -hmm. looks like that. And that can plant into another tree. Mm -hmm. And it's literally like eating a peach or a nectarine. It's really good. Yeah. Grab Got my one. eye on this one. You don't rub your... Oh, you don't Oh, you don't do the same thing I do. You just go in for it. <laughs> There's two ways to eat them. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Stay sweet. Yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy in their tummies. vegetables I'm just gonna add them to that because that would be just be like so wonderful so that's the broccoli and cauliflower I put on top then we got our carrots Ooh, they're firm and hard not hard hard but they're firm this is our cooked veggies Yummy, yummy, yummy. I like my veggies. Easy to cut right now. That way it's easy to pluck them out. The meat with that gravy and the mushrooms. Look at all that juice. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So what I'm gonna do now some people take the meat out and cool it down and then cut it up. No. Not me. Not today. No. What we're going to do is we're going to cut that meat right up in that pan with all those sauce and that drippings. And the leftover gravy can get turned into soups. A little bit of water, a little bit of beef bouillon. And the meat, if you have a lot of meat, sometimes I cook like 10, 15, 20 pounds of meat. A leftover meat then will be made into soft tacos. I like soft tacos. No one else likes tacos except for the mink, mini mink, and granddaddy mink. So we got our meat cut up. Check it out. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh. That's chuck roast. Not familiar with chuck, but beef roast. Chuck roast. 
Mm, I buy the whole slab of chuck roast, the whole section, and then I cut it up into about four inch thick pieces. Each piece weighs about mm, five, six pounds, sometimes eight. And uh, I freeze them and get about, uh, about eight of them out of that. And the, uh, the price per we're paying in the States is right around $253 a pound. Yeah. Normally I would cook two of them, but I need to get another one. That's why I added the burgers. If I had found two of these, we wouldn't have burgers. Made a steam tray. Got the burgers there. There's water in the bottom. Bacon's hiding under there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Need some more plates though. Thank you for watching. I'm Granddaddy Minx, The Cooking Adventure Show. We're just getting started. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, please love, like, share, and subscribe. The little button to the bottom right hand corner, you get a notification. I thank you kindly. Have a great day. Enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. Enjoy being with the one that you're with and taking care of family and friends. Thank you. Oh, you didn't see the buns. Can I show you the buns? I got the buns in the oven. 100 degrees. Keep them buns warm. They may like some buns and then put the buns in the gravy. Mm. Bread in the gravy. Mm. A little variety here tonight. Thank you.